So guys, if you want to help me watching cat videos all over the world, you know what you need to do? Hi guys! Today is Saturday night and I am here in my hostel room in Tallinn, Estonia, where I've arrived today. Today I didn't really want to talk to you that much about travel vlogging, but about traveling in general. Like I said, it's Saturday night and the night is really nice because there's still daylight, days are so long around here at this time of the year, but despite all that, I am alone in my hostel room um, and I'm not celebrating the fact that I am in Estonia for the first time ever in my life. And why is that? So it's been about five and a half weeks that I started traveling um, and it's the first time ever in my life that I am that I have traveled for that long. If it's several weeks in a row or months I guess, um, your body gets tired and your mind gets tired and your soul gets tired and it's beautiful and it's great and I love it but sometimes I just need a break. And what I find is that when you travel long term you start missing the days where you don't really do anything. My days are basically spent doing either exploring a city, uh, walking around which is tiring physically uh, or sitting around at the hostel or at coffee shops editing the videos or working. So I don't really have those moments of dolce far niente. You know those days when you just sit on your couch and watch Netflix for hours? You know what I'm talking about. I'm not sure if I'm saying this more to you or to myself. I'd like to know what you think. If you travel long term, what do you do? Do you have days where you just do nothing? And do you feel guilty about it? I was feeling guilty just before, but now I am fine. So I'm just gonna get on my bed and watch TV shows. So guys, if you want to help me watching cat videos all over the world, you know what you need to do. Just subscribe here on YouTube and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. The Incredible here.